Hey guys, I've got some very great and exciting news to share with you today. iOS 11 is on the horizon. Today, Apple did announce Worldwide Developers Conference 2017. It's a very unusual move for Apple because they did it a full two months in advance you know, of usual schedule. They usually announce it in April. I think the earliest they've ever announced it was April 4th, latest being the 28th. But now in February, we've got an announcement. So it's very unusual for them to do this. Why would they announce it early? What are they going to have at this event? Let's talk about all of that. So it's a very exciting event. This is one of the most exciting, you know, before the iPhone, just because it's it's software. It's something that we're going to be running on all of our devices, on our TVs, our Apple Watches, iPhones, even the uh, Mac OS. So there's a lot of great features we will be seeing. Let's talk about what's rumored there. But first, the actual promo image. So this thing usually has hints. Apple always likes to put some sort of hints, hide things in them. And try as I might, looking at it, I couldn't really find anything. I mean, there's a bunch of people doing various things, taking selfies, reading books, uh, holding suitcases. I mean, the main theme seems to be a world that is connected by these products, as everyone seems to have one. So if you guys actually find something, a little hint, leave it down below. I'm actually very curious to see. Usually Apple's hiding stuff like last year at WWDC, uh, all the text was the new version of Swift. Sometimes they hide things like uh, camera features or iPhone colors in them, but you know, I couldn't find anything for this one. Now, this event will be held on June 5th in San Jose. The first time it's being held there since 2002. So apparently it's to make things easier for the engineers, uh, for them to come and work on it. Even the ones that want to take just a day off from work and go to this event, they can do that. If you guys want to go to this event, uh, there's about 5,000 seats that are available. You could pay $1,600 just to be entered into a lottery, not even win the ticket. But of course, you'll get your money back if you don't. But I just, I personally would want to go eventually one time. But, you know, you have to stand in line for a very, very long time from what I've heard from people that have been there to even get good seats. I mean, comparable to the view you would get on camera. So I don't even know if it's worth it. But if you want to see, uh, you know, the legend in real time, Tim Cook there on stage, all the other guys, uh, you can do that for $1,600. So iOS 11, there's not too much being said about it, but there are a few little details. So rumored to happen is group FaceTime. That's been talked about a little bit. Uh, more features for the iPad. So Apple actually wants to differentiate the iPad from iOS in more ways, you know, take advantage of that larger display. And that's one of Apple's biggest complaints when it comes to the iPads is that there's just not enough exclusive features on them. So with iOS 11, it said that Apple wants to take care of that and give the iPad more features. Also, we talked about this earlier, redhead emojis. So as usual, Apple will be updating the emojis and these might include the new redhead emojis. Now iOS 11 will be a very important update for this one very reason. There will be no more support for 32-bit devices. So devices like the iPhone 5 will be axed and the focus will be on 64-bit. Believe it or not, there is a very, very big detriment to supporting 32-bit devices uh, when you have most 64 bits. The whole iOS is going to be rewritten for iOS 11. Just because uh, there's this write-up I read about, iOS as it is as it sits right now is not uh, naturally developed. You know, they started from a 32-bit platform, started adding all of these APIs to make it compatible with 64-bit devices, and it doesn't run as efficiently as if they just had it made for 64-bit. So with iOS 11, there's going to be a huge rework plus Apple file system. So memory efficiency wise, iOS 11 is going to be a champion. What I personally want from iOS 11 is three things. So to be able to change the camera settings from within the camera app, not have to go into settings to do it because that's some BS. Also the volume HUD to get rid of that from the display. Why is it in my way? and actually throw in a dark mode. Something we should have seen a long time ago, it would blend with the iPhone, the black one very well. Absolutely do it, Apple. Of course, watch OS, the new Mac OS 10.13. Currently 10.12 was an amazing release performance-wise. I actually really like it, I think it's very stable. Also, Apple TVs. So Apple, of course, will release new software for it, but it's rumored there will be a new Apple TV hardware release as well that could support 4K resolution. Now that one isn't set in stone, but it's rumored to happen. Now, Apple doesn't usually release hardware at WWDC. In fact, it's been over three years, actually about three years now since they have. So in the past, they've released the 3G, 3GS, Retina, MacBook, I announced the Mac Pro 2013 at this event. Uh, they've done some releases, hardware releases, but not usually. So it could happen, it could not. Now, my personal prediction is that they're gonna roll the iPad event that's supposed to happen in March with WWDC just because they announced this so early. 
Um, it's just unusual. So I think that's what they're gonna do. They're gonna announce iPads at this event, the new iPad Pro 2, that's rumored to get some iPhone 7 features, the camera bump, uh, spec bump, also the virtual home button. They're gonna implement some of these little features into the iPad. So there it is guys, WWDC, what we're going to be seeing, mostly software, possible Apple TV 4K version and iPad Pro refresh. So that's just my personal prediction about the last one though. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. I'm really excited. It's always a good feeling to update your phone and get a ton of new features. And with iOS 11, I hope Apple brings a lot of great stuff to the table. All right guys, thanks for watching. Peace.